Madison and South Georgia Tormenta on opposite sides of the divide. A single point in the final standings was the difference between Madison's second ever playoff appearance and Tormenta failing to follow up its 2022 League One Championship. Inside on his right. And Galindres picks it up. One, two, back to Galindres around the corner and the flick, it's still alive. And Boyce has a lash. Finally cleared by Jackson Curry on the edge of his six yard box. Galindres dancing through the Tormenta defense. And for the second time tonight, he got a great look at goal and couldn't convert. Has the mix of being dynamic both on and off the ball as you see his on ball passing ability. Galindres getting touches in the box once again. Flared to the back post and Murphy couldn't get a lot of purchase on the shot. Not quite living up to the four goals that Tormenta produced in their last couple matchups last year, but plenty of intrigue. But we see Christian Cheney in the second half. We've seen Matt. Paul it away by Parker. Mingo's attempting to turn the tide with an extended spell of possession. Boyce had to check his run to stay on side. Great service into the box. A big right fist from Parker. And the long rip from Murphy looking to deal damage to his old club. Galindres blocked away. Tormenta, a team that is tasked year on year with replacing rising talent. That is the beauty and the curse of an academy first club. One whose focus is so heavily on development. Kaziah Sterling, Nkwele Akale, moving on to USL Championship football after great performances. And it's Boyce who finds the back of the net. Forward Madison, who was signed just a couple days ago. Or at least arrived a couple days ago, I should say, in Southeast Georgia. Villalobos into Cheney, back to Villalobos, back to Cheney. He's trying to follow up. Dangler got some contacts and wins the free kick. South Georgia, we're going to see Niall Watson. Number seven, Niall Watson, leading the match, number nine, Sebastian Vivas. Watson made 124 appearances at Southport FC, the team for which he was a lifelong fan growing up in the Liverpool area. Coming across the pond, he's an exciting winger. Uh, Ian Cameron could not wait to arrive. Sadly, he was not here in time to be fit to s play from the start, but a player that they certainly expect to bring a spark to the attack this season. It's Boyce in a key position once again, finds Bartman and pushed away by Parker. Cheney has no pressure on him, could pick out anybody he wanted, and it's a great recovery challenge. The crowd raising and then falling to a hush. It's a free header. Shipman required to punch. It would have been offside on the follow-up. Two hands up, and he lines it in towards the penalty spot. Nobody able to get there in front of Burn Shipman. Davila. 
placed 12th in the USL League One power rankings this week and have not done a lot over this 90 minutes to change those opinions. But they snatch a point. Spengler. Okoto, great ball in, diving header, and Watson is on the board! Niall Watson, South Porto, makes his presence felt in Southeast Georgia. We would be five minutes from halftime. And there goes the final whistle. Drama in stoppage time as Tormenta scrap a late point.